Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week we are celebrating the holiday of Passover. So the question of the week is, how do we free ourselves from Egypt? So as we celebrate the holiday of Passover, we know the highlight of Passover is the reciting of the Haggadah, the first two nights of Pesach. In the Agada, you have the famous four questions, and after the four questions are asked, the response is, Avodim Hayinu Lepare Mitzrayim. We were slaves to Pharaoh in the land of Egypt, and God took us out of the land of Egypt. This is based on a verse in the Torah in the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 21, where the Torah says, When your children are going to ask you, What's the reason of these Edos, Chukim, Mishpatim? Why are we observing all these commandments? And you should tell them that we were slaves to Paro in the land of Egypt. That's the source of the response to the four questions. And God took us out of the land of Egypt. So ever ask a simple question. A, what does it mean we were slaves to Pare? Why is it important to list Pare's name? B, it says God, we were slaves to Paroi, the king of Egypt. And then it says God took us out of Egypt. If it's important to tell us about Pare, why don't you tell us we, God took us out from being slaves to Pare in the land of Egypt. But nevertheless, when it goes to taking us out, it says taking us out of the land of Egypt. So the Rebbe explains something very powerful and he says like this. Paroi on a spiritual level comes from the word of Oireth, the neck. The back. What does that mean practically? We know in Kabbalah there's two terms. Pneumius and Chitonius. Pneumius means when you're totally engaged, you're totally involved, you're totally excited about it, you're passionate about life. Chitonius is when you go through life and you're just checking it off the list. So our relationship with Hashem needs to be we do what Hashem wants us to do, the commandments, but we do it in a way with love and awe. We're passionate in our relation with Hashem. That's called Pneumius. Chitzayinah says, when you do it, but you check it off the list. So Hashem tells us, we were slaves to Paroi, which means we did, we, yeah, we had a relation with Hashem, but it was Paroi, it was from the back. We weren't, it wasn't a warm, meaningful relationship. Now, what's the reason why we were not on a level of having a warm, premium relationship relation with Hashem? So the answer the Rebbe says is Mitzrayim. What does Mitzrayim mean? Mitzrayim comes from the word of Metzar. It comes from being in a place of, in Yiddish is a word for kvetched. We feel, we're, we, we, we feel limited. We feel constrained. We don't feel the expansiveness, the openness, the abundance. So when a person unfortunately is in a place of Mitzrayim, a, where he feels constrained and he feels limited, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, then you become for kvetched. Then you become totally stuck. And when you're stuck, you just go through life. You get through the day, you're in survival mode. But when God took us out of Egypt, because the ultimate issue was that we were in Egypt, that we were stuck. When God freed us, He gave us Harchava, He gave us abundance, we were able to think out of the box. Then automatically the Pari went away. And that's when it says God took us out of Egypt, doesn't focus on Pari, because Pari is secondary. In other words, Pari is a state of being that we're in. But the cause of the state of being, that we're doing things just to check it off the list, comes from a place of Mitzrayim, comes from a place of constraints. So to answer the question, how do we go out of Egypt? Think big, think abundance, think success, think without limits. And that will take us out of Egypt. And when we're out of Egypt, we won't be constrained with power. We would do things in a way of a premiumistic way, in a great way. And we'll all have a real Zman Cheyrusein. And we'll free ourselves from anything that's holding us back from living a great and amazing life. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Leib, Shlom ben Yosef, and Rachel Baslipa. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. Have a great Pesach, a happy Pesach, a kosher Pesach, and most importantly, we should be freed from this gullus, from all the exiles that's holding us back from living a great and amazing life.